Hey guys, what's going on? It's another episode here at the Mikasa channel. Today we're going to be making up a $50 plated meal for roughly about $10. So hopefully you're going to enjoy this. I'm just going to whip through some stuff really quick, kind of in vlog fashion. We're going to be making a full course meal here. So we're going to have a salad, we're going to have a meat, and we're also going to have a side. Now this is all going to be plated together in one amazing dish. Uh, here we have some Michigan wild caught sockeye salmon. Now this stuff is outstanding. This is the real deal here. So we got it on sale and look at that. Beautiful. Now I'm telling you what, wild caught, deboned, run your hands along it real quick to make sure there's no bones. If there is you can pull them out with some players. But pull that out. I'm going to turn the pan on. We're going to uh, season this first and we're going to uh, actually put it with a side of butter braised Brussels sprouts. Real simple there. And then also we're going to make up a beet salad, a, a baby arugula beet salad with some, these are uh, from the store. I had to buy beets here, but uh, normally they'd be from the garden. And then arugula would normally be from the garden as well, but we don't have a garden here at the house yet. Um, and so, yep, so that's what we're going to pair it with. And uh, basically you're just going to need some other things that we'll run through in a second, but I'm going to prep the stove so we can get the, uh, the pan nice and hot. All right, so we're going to season just salt and pepper the salmon, you want to well uh, season it very well. We're using just sea salt and black pepper while the pan's heating up. A lot of times people forget to season the skin here. We're going to season the skin. Now remember, sea salt is full of minerals. It's all good for you. Everything here in this meal is good for you. This is how we eat on a pretty regular basis here, right Cindy? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, my dream is to own a restaurant. So it's one of those things that I like to practice my skills now so that I can, uh, so that I can uh, open one later. So that's been salted and peppered. We're gonna heat up the stove and we've already prepped our Brussels sprouts. You just wanna take off the hard stems, wash the leaves, and then also uh, have them so they cook a little faster. We've also prepped uh, just a bowl of pistachios. That's gonna be for our salad. I'll show you what to do with those. We're gonna candy those. And then also, while the pan's heating up, I'm just going to heat up, or I'm just going to prep just a few cloves of garlic here from right from the garden. So we're going to use some garden fresh garlic and a garden fresh onion for the fish. But we want to make sure that we put the fish in first. People sometimes want to put the garlic in first and the onions in first, and this is not how you cook things because the fish is going to take longer. And if you burn the garlic, it's going to taste bitter. So you got to keep the ingredients fresh. When they're freshest is when they're the bestest. Just gonna thinly slice up some red onion here. Just making sure we got some nice color here. Eat your foods of color. And we're just gonna real lightly chop this up here. You don't need something too fine because you want to keep that color and preserve that. So we're gonna uh, get the, the fish on the pan now. It's nice and hot. We're gonna head over the stove. All right, so I'm just gonna cut this fish up into a little bit more manageable portions. That way also it's not an incredible amount of fish. So you want to wait, you want to wait until this, you see white smoke. White smoke means the pan's hot. White smoke is good. Now our pan for our Brussels sprouts is heating up. We want to throw about a tablespoon of butter in. Butter is good for you. Fats are good for you. They help to uh, allow your body to absorb some nutrients and so studies have shown that your body can absorb up to 25% more nutrients using fats. We're just going to cook this right on the skin side. It's going to cook fast here on the tail so you want to make sure that you turn down your heat about medium. You just want a hot pan to really sear the skin and you don't want to ever flip your, your fish over onto the skin because it's going to cook all the way through. It's going to make it really nice and tender but it's not going to uh, allow the skin to stick because once the skin becomes flaky, that's when you start having ripping and nastiness. Keep it moving until you have a nice caramelization on the skin. That way it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan here. We just put a little bit of olive oil in the bottom of the pan. Butter is browned in the pan. We're going to throw 
throw we're gonna throw our our Brussels sprouts in there, get them really nice and coated. Alright, we're gonna salt them. A little bit of salt, not too much, because we already salted our fish. We're gonna watch our sodium levels here, but I just wanna make sure that they get good flavor. And then we're just going to throw in a little bit of the garlic that we missed, just a little bit. Ah, there we go, got that real nice flavor there. We'll throw in some pe pepper. All right, the fish is looking good over here. It's nice and brown on the bottom. All right. We're just adding in some balsamic vinegar now. It's going to add a nice balsamic flavor. And we're going to pair that. We're actually going to pair that with a white truffle oil. This is just a white truffle that's been infused. Just about a tablespoon and a half of that. That's going to make sure that everything stays nice and liquid. And then we're actually going to take just a tiny bit of sugar. Because you want to caramelize these. You don't want too much you don't want too much acid, and so you want to you want to mellow out the acid with the base. So I threw in about just about a tablespoon of sugar there, and that's going to make sure that that these caramelize up real nicely in this pan here. And you're going to get the flavors of that balsamic in there. It's going to make a nice real real nice glaze on there with the sugar. That's going to caramelize, and we're going to turn that heat down to about medium or low. So now we're going to put on our red onions. Just put those in the pan. Those are going to cook slightly. It's also going to infuse that oil in the pan with the flavor of the garlic and the onion. And it's going to make sure that there's real nice flavor. We're going to, we're going to use this to top the fish. All right, keep your fish moving so it doesn't burn. Add a little bit more oil if you have to, but I think we're good for now. You don't want too much oil, then it just makes the whole fish taste slimy. All right, so now we're going to put it on broil. We're going to pop it into the oven. And that is why you also want a real nice set of pans. Because good pans you can put right in the oven and uh, you don't have to worry about it melting or anything. Okay, those are caramelizing up real nicely. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to prep my uh, my candied uh, my candied pistachios. And turn this on, heat this pan up here. You don't need it super hot. You just want to melt some sugar and a little bit of butter so that you can candy your pistachios. All right, we're just going to let that melt. And uh, what do you think, Cindy? What do you think it smells like so far? Very delicious. Okay, I'm just going to put just a pinch of black pepper in that butter there. I'm going to melt that slowly. I just want to make sure that this is not going to burn here. You don't want to burn that sugar. That's when it tastes bitter. Um, anytime you burn sugar, it turns it into molasses, and then past molasses, it turns it into carbon, and that's disgusting, and uh, it tastes very bitter. So you don't want to taste like you burnt it. You just want to infuse that so you get all those nice little micro bubbles right there. And you can see the micro bubbles are going to, those are going to be your first sign that you're having good caramelization, but you're not burning it. As soon as you start seeing those bubbles get thicker and blacker, that means you're burning it and you need to lower the heat or take them off the heat. All right, so now we're going to add our pistachios. Once that butter's just melted there, we're going to turn up the heat just a little bit. And then we're going to add our sugar. Now this is just a side. This is going to kind of pair in with that nice pickled beet and the, the creaminess of the feta. You can also use a, uh, a goat cheese if you want. We're going to melt that up. And again, this is, you know, this is just a side. So it's not the healthiest thing, but it's going to 
make sure that you have some salty from the, the pistachios and some sweet from the, the caramelization. You also get a little bit of protein and some real good copper. Uh, pistachios are a very sor good source of copper, so you wanna make sure you get some of that in your diet. All right, so we're just gonna prep the, the arugula salad here. We bought some arugula from the store. It's already been washed, so throw that in there. All right, and then we got some baby beets. These baby beets here are awesome. You don't need to cut them or anything. You just throw them right in. Ooh, they're pretty. And they've, they've been cured with some spices and some vinegar and uh, just a little bit of um, some cinnamon and cloves. So you get a real nice flavor there. Some crumbled feta. Crumble some feta over top of that. All right, so you don't want to you don't want to allow the the uh, the pistachios to stick to the bottom or they'll burn. You just want to keep them tossed until they're well coated, and then I obviously have the heat off so they're cooling. And you want to just keep them suspended so that they can cool, and and we're going to transfer them over to a plate where they can cool properly. All right, so we're gonna make our dressing here. Now this is just one part olive oil to one part uh, Paris Chardonnay vinegar. It's gonna give a real nice sweetness, a little bit more acidity too to kind of balance out the, the basicness of the, the olive oil. And uh, we're just going to whisk this together. I'm gonna put just a little bit of black pepper in here. Season, season, season. Everything you do, season so that it doesn't taste bland. Now we're not adding salt to this obviously because you don't need to season this with salt because we already have some saltiness from the pistachios and some saltiness from the, uh, the pickled beets. And we want to whisk this till it turns a creamy color. So we're going to take these and we're just going to crumble them because they've solidified, because the caramelization will make them kind of clump together. So we're going to crumble these over top. Okay. Nice and hot. Got our beautiful, still fresh garlic and uh, red pepper there, or red, red onion. <laughs> and throw that on there and make sure that, show some of those nice colors. Show some of those nice colors. Food of color, food that looks good, typically is. I'm going to put some of our Brussels sprouts. Beautiful Brussels sprouts there. Not looking good for you, Cindy? Very. Okay. They're so tiny. The they, are, they are tiny. They didn't get as big this year as I was hoping. We had a pretty, we had a pretty early cold snap, so it kind of, kind of definitely was a little bit of a rain on our parade there. We're gonna mix this up here. Drizzle just a little bit over the salad. You don't need too much dressing. Don't overpower it here. Okay, we're gonna toss it with our hands. Now, I know you germaphobes are gonna be freaking out, but it's the only way you can properly toss a salad without ruining the greens. You gotta be gentle with them. Treat them like a young child. Okay, we're gonna take, make sure we get a nice incorporation of some beet and some, some feta, plate that up there. A little more, a little more beet there. So make sure you get a nice couple of caramelized pistachios. Awesome, okay, cool. And the next plate here. Alrighty. Gorgeous. And there you go. There is your uh, just basically a very simple salmon with a pepper, uh, just a pepper seasoning, salt and pepper seasoning. You also have a butter braised balsamic vinegar glazed Brussels sprout and a very simple uh, young arugula pickled beet salad. So hope you all enjoyed. And I'm gonna wash off my hands and we're gonna show you a first bite. All right, so now we're just going to serve it with just a little splash of some kombucha. Now again, 
Everything here is extremely healthy for you, extremely vibrant in color and life. And I just want to remind you all that this meal took not only 23 minutes to cook. I was timing myself. It took 23 minutes to cook, but it costs less than $5 a plate. So you can go and you can eat a Big Mac or you can make yourself this. Again, $5 a plate and it certainly is a food right from the earth. So let's give it a taste and let's see what Cindy thinks. Let's try the Brussels sprouts first. I'm going to wait and try these. These look so good. Oh my word. That right there. Mmm. That is so good. Those that hate Brussels sprouts have never tried fresh garden grown, fresh garden grown Brussels sprouts braised in butter and a little bit of balsamic vinegar. That is just amazing. There's the fish. Look at that. Beautiful, flaky fish. Pulls away right from the skin. I'll try a bite of that. There we go. All right. That is dynamite. That is dynamite. I absolutely love it. Not seasoned too much that the, the fish can't speak. Mm. And I can hear it talking to me. It's speaking to me. It says, eat more of me. And I will. All right. Cool. So now let's try some of the baby arugula pickled beet salad here. It's a little difficult to poke some of the, the candied pistachios, so, but let's give it a shot here. Dang, that is so good. The creaminess from the, mm, the creaminess from the, the feta cheese combined with the saltiness of the, uh, the pistachios and the sweetness from the pistachios. Mm, it just works. And that dressing, this is very mellow, but it's not too overwhelming, not too tart. This is a fantastic meal. Easily one of the best that I made in a very long time. And certainly want to be, it's certainly going to be one of the ones that I will put on the menu for our hopefully soon farm to table restaurant. Thought it was the pistachios for a second. <laughs> Mmm, I really like that. It's slightly sweet, but also you, it's not very balsamic which I like a lot because I'm not a really huge fan of balsamic, but it was really good. So the fish looks super perfect. I'm excited. Huh? <laughs> see? You can see the seam probably from there. <laughs> Mmm. It tastes so fresh. I love how you can also taste the, the garlic. I love anything garlicky. <laughs> so this is really, really good. I really, I think it's one of my favorite ways you prepare salmon, honey. Mmm. Wow. It's really good. It's like a burst of flavors. So good. Sweet, kind of zippy, and it's the first time I've tried the pear shiny vinegar. It's really good. It's like not really strong or vinegary tasting, so I really enjoy that. Thanks, honey. Love your meal. All right, so I think this was a smashing success, and hopefully you'll try it. Let us know if you do in the comments box below. Also, share this with your friends. I definitely think that it's important to get, uh, you know, fresh food. To the masses i think it's so many people are just eating just dead food and it's just this is amazing this is just so full of life and flavor and uh it's just it's fresh you know it's simple it's simple it took less than 20 minutes or it took less than 30 minutes almost less than 20 but yeah. you know i mean it's fine it's 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 something that you can do it's very easy and uh you, there's no magic you saw it right here so hopefully you guys enjoyed you guys on the next episode in Mikasa Sukasa. <laughs>